Hey guys, it's Vaughn, and today I'm going to show you how to get a fun, funky summer hairdo, as well as an easy, wearable makeup look using hair and beauty products by Shea Moisture. I'll bet you didn't know Shea Moisture had a makeup line. For today's look, I need to start with clean, moisturized hair. I'm going to mostly be using products from the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line, starting with this Strengthen, Grow and Restore shampoo. This stuff contains shea butter and apple cider vinegar, making it a gentle, clarifying shampoo which is sulfate free. This formula felt very silky and helped to soften and detangle my hair. Next I wanted to deep condition my hair. So I reached for the Strengthen, Grow and Restore treatment mask with shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. I applied this thick mask to my hair in sections before detangling and twisting. After I was done with all the twists, I let the mask stay on my hair for about 20 minutes without adding any heat. Next, I rinsed out the mask and prepped my hair for the styling lotion. This product is actually a heat protectant and a daily moisturizer, which is perfect for me since the next step of this hairstyle is blow drying. All I'm doing is working the styling lotion through each damp section of hair and re -twisting. I like to give my hair a chance to absorb the product and to air dry a bit before blow drying. If you allow the hair to air dry a little bit, the blow drying process will be really fast. So here I am finishing up that process and preparing my hair for the next step. First I'm going to apply the edge treatment. Next I'm using the Curling Gel Souffle from the Coconut and Hibiscus line. This stuff is made with agave nectar and flaxseed oil. I'm applying a small amount from root to tip. To seal in all the goodness, I'm going to use the Hair Serum, which contains shea butter and rosemary oil. Now it's time to move forward with my Bantu Knots. I did not two strand twist the hair, I chose to rather twirl it tightly before winding it into the bantu knot. I used medium sized sections of hair, but you could go smaller and larger depending on the kind of curl that you want. Here's a tip for bantu knots that may be a little too tight. You can gently twist it in the opposite direction to loosen it, that way you don't have to take it all the way down and start over. Once you're done with all of your bantu knots, simply wrap with a bonnet and go to sleep. Now on a clean exfoliated face, I'm going to start by applying the Shea Moisture CC Cream to my under eye circles and red spots. This is going to help neutralize everything while providing sunscreen. I love filling in my brows with powder, so I'm actually reaching for this mineral blush called Casablanca Copper to fill in my brows with an angled brush. Next I would recommend using your favorite cream concealer to sculpt your brows. Of course
course, when you're done sculpting, you do want to blend all of the obvious lines. Next, I'm applying the Shea Moisture Cream Concealer under my eyes in Waimea Bay Porcelain. This concealer is good because it lasts for 12 hours and it's very lightweight. It's also very easy to blend. One of the downsides to lightweight concealers is that they can sometimes go on a little streaky. So I'm going to finish this up with my beauty blender. Now I'm going to set everything using my Shea Moisture Wet and Dry Powder in Havasu Hazel. You can actually use this product dry for a more natural finish or wet for more coverage. I'm setting my under eye concealer with a powder that has less pigment. I'm using the Casablanca Copper Mineral Blush again to contour my crease. For my eyelid, I'm using this matte cream color called Cecilia. All of these eyeshadows can be used to build a custom palette. They can also be used wet or dry. Just a little more of that matte brown eyeshadow to define my crease. Then I'm moving on to eyeliner. For some fun summer color, I'm going to add a little bit of this blue eyeshadow on my lower lash line. It's called Taylor. I'm reaching for that Casablanca Copper just one more time to dramatically contour my cheekbones. I usually use a lighter color bronzer to contour my nose because that doesn't need to be as dramatic. Next is blush, my favorite, and this one's in Annecy Maroon. The Shea Moisture Beauty products go on so smooth because they're made with certified organic shea butter and they're paraben and talc free. I'm going to finish this look with a little brown liner and coral lipstick. Now it's time for the takedown. When taking down Bantu knots, I simply twist them in the opposite direction and allow them to fall naturally. Since I finished these with a little bit of the hair serum, I don't have to worry about frizz or anything when I'm taking them down. I was very impressed by the definition and shine of these products. Here I'm just separating the chunks of hair to make the hair more full. Next I'm going to pull all the curls forward and bobby pin them in a mohawk. This is actually a hairstyle that's ideal for shorter hair, but longer hair can pull it off too. I only used about 10 bobby pins, and obviously this only took me about a few minutes. Now I can't tell you how long it's going to take before you stop playing with your curls. That's it! We're done! Now for the finished look. I really, really loved this look. It was funky, fresh, and perfect for summer. And the best part about this look is that everything used to create it is completely affordable. Shea Moisture Color Cosmetics are available exclusively at Target. You can pick up the Jamaican Black Castor Oil products from your local CVS.